Into the mines we go. With more auto scroll. Another level that just begs for a cape. By the way, there are some times when you do not want to press the switch. That's tough. Beware. That one... Right in between the two is obviously a fake. This one's also a fake. That one is real. You might as well forget about the run button sometimes. Because otherwise, you might sometimes miss the switch. Just look for two identical ones, and that's a cue not to touch it. And that was short. Here's a level that's going to be crazy. Castle number four. Warning, if, if epilepsy is a condition of yours, please stop here. Otherwise, press X. As we start, we see that Mario is flashing. The cape probably breaks a considerable part of this falling segment. Probably it's safe to stay away from the center. There goes my cape. At least it's safe to stand to the right, too. Just not in the dead center. What am I asking? I have no idea, and there's still much more to go. Simple fact. Center equals bad when there's a saw on the same rope. Also, sometimes you only have to worry about one side. Not in the case of some enemies, but... Seems to be like that for many of them. Now we keep going down. And stopping here. And this is probably where the epilepsy factor kicks in. Only the lava is actually visible. Hey, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Magic Koopa, Kamek is generally problematic. Problematic Kamek. Perfect. A rhyme in harmony. At least Magikoopa Kamek, whatever you want to call him, did not destroy the floor. Okay. That is a rather silly jump. How did it get that far? When you want to kill Magikoopa, Kamek, you probably want to wait until after he's actually fired.
then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to jump on him. Up until a certain point, he appears non-existent. And I jumped into the non-existent field. In we go. Now we're crazy. Welcome to the 33rd century, Castle of the Future. Unnecessary comma, I suppose. That is mean. Good thing you didn't place it right next to it. Only one away from that if you were actually running. If that was the case, you'd be dead. That one, on the other hand... The unfortunate does apply. <laughs> what about here? Nope. And yes. I have not found a halfway point yet, so I'm putting in a save state. Put the save state in before you actually saw it. That's at the beginning of this room. I don't think you have to worry about, uh, about enemies. You only have to worry about instant death situations. How would I do that? I don't know. Whew. Yeah, that's where I saved. This is quite the puzzle. I'm definitely willing to call it a puzzle. Any solutions would not be obvious. Unfortunately. Wait a minute. I just noticed this. Let's go ahead and grab this green shell. Switch power up so that I don't actually torch it. There we go. We're down. And I'm gonna keep this. Beware of instant death. There better be a halfway point somewhere. In we go. I'm saving. Now it's a P-switch puzzle. This will give me a little bit more time. And I'm pretty sure that was intended. to do here. 
saving. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why me? Why me again? Okay, that one I can see. Same with this. All this. Thankfully, the door is right down here, so I'd know. Just barely see it. But I could not see the spikes, unfortunately. That didn't work. I'm gonna have to try it this way. Time it out, shall we? And perhaps save. I wasn't quite that confident. Yeah. Definitely knows how to be mean. 